video and do it. Dude, I record in about two hour intervals and I split them up into smaller things specifically for people who do not have an internet connection that can properly load a two hour video properly, but are better at getting that 16 minute interval. That's literally what those videos are for. And you're watching this specifically so that you could do that and I'm just, I just got so baffled by that and I didn't even comment on look at the previous video man I thought it was obvious I thought it was obvious am I just too big brained that I just think that because literally when I watch a video YouTube video that's at part five because I think that part has the has that thing that I want and it doesn't have to go like, okay so maybe it's part four I go to part four. Like, that's how I think, right? So, like, if this guy has part, se let's say, 71 in this case. Part 71, and this guy's like, oh, you didn't show where it is. I would go to part 70 and go, ah, that's where it is. Because I think even... Even in that session, I said, I don't know, remember exactly where this power area is, or whatever it was. No, I don't remember where this area is, but I know that it exists in this area. I just don't remember exactly where. And that's exactly where it is. I didn't look up a video on it. I just actually just ended up like going through areas, and I'm like, oh, there's a cool spot here, and I'll go through that. Funny and I'm like, oh, awesome. Then, yeah. Yeah, I got so baffled by that. I just literally just wanted to go, really? I'm quitting my channel right then and there. It's those kinds of commas that are really stupid. To me. Like, they're really dumb, in my opinion. If the information you want is not on that video go to the previous video then is literally the only suggestion i can make because that's the only one that actually makes sense go to the previous video if that previous video doesn't have it then there's a problem because obviously i got there somehow and i don't cut in and i don't cut videos i don't the only time i cut is when i record on my nintendo switch mind you pokemon for crown tundra i didn't really do it nearly as much it didn't really make much sense. But for uh, Diablo 3, anytime I actually have my Nintendo Switch screen on, I, or my Nintendo Switch menu, I always cut that footage out. Uh, because that's not really professional that way. For Crown Tundra, because it pissed me off so much, like, it, because it made me angry about it, that's the reason why I left it in every video. It was a session that deserved it. And same thing with Nehrim. Nehrim, it took me a while before I ended up actually editing those black screens out of the footage. Because it's not that I didn't know, it's that I just didn't care to record, to get them out. And then once I was actually uh, like viewing a video about it, I was like, you know what, this isn't fair. So that's when I started editing those out. And I wish I would have came to his realization earlier rather than later because literally I did it at part 13 of the sessions I think it was like it was either 13 or 14 I think and we ended on 16 did it it disabled body slam for some reason interesting or it disabled the ice beam inside body slam interesting weird but yeah like Yeah, like, that's, that's, uh, like, my editing is mostly just to get rid of anything that I don't want in the video. Uh, nudity, black screens, if it can be avoided. Mind you, the old, like, like, this one goes to, into a black screen, specifically. Just to show, like, um, just as a transition of colors kind of thing. That I'm keeping in, because that's just a transition, right? But when a game crashes and goes straight to... Like a, go straight to black screen or something like that, or the screen freezes. That's when I go 
scrub back into the footage, go wait until when I was trailing off before it did that freeze or that or did that black screen, and then that's when I go, okay, cut that, and then let's just do a start with the next footage. That's why we're uh, not rec uh, well, recording and editing nailing videos was such a hassle because it had to take uh, like five different like video clips or three different video clips of let's say like between half an hour to 40 minutes each and I had to cut them down into smaller sizes with those black screens off and I had to split and I had to make sure that they were all snapped together perfectly fine because the, the editing software I have actually like like it gives you a line specifically to say like yes this is up like right up against this other one which I absolutely love by the way and that's quite literally what I do is like I literally snap that into that footage which is amazing because that's exactly what I wanted so we'll wait for that so yes that's why Nairam took so long to edit a lot and even that five hour session one I think it only crashed I think once or twice during that entire session yeah yeah so while I'm doing that uh, special channel thing that I want to do um, I want to uh, do something special about Nairam don't worry I will replay Nairam I absolutely despite me having a lot of issues with Nairam I absolutely loved playing Nairam so don't get me wrong, I will redo it. Um, now that I've been heavily working on uh, my mod to make it completely standalone, where it can literally run itself kind of thing, it doesn't need Oblivion itself to run, I will see if I can set it towards Nairam, so though it will actually end up working with Nairam, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So it should be easy to do. But, for the most part... I'm trying to remember everything I'm trying to think of. And my brain is just mush right now, because I'm... I don't know why. But yeah, so I'm going to try and give Nehrim a little bit more love, uh, because I know for a fact that I hated it. Uh, if you have any suggestions on making it either just slightly more stable, uh, so that we don't experience those types of crashes anymore, please leave a comment. L l give me a personal message. Anything. Just send me a message. Say, these are the required settings for... See, I use the Steam version of it, which already came pre-installed with mods. That's probably why mine probably was a little bit unstable, cause, probably because I didn't optimize for it. But if you know a perfectly, uh, uh, how to perfectly gear it so that it looks a lot better, or not only looks a lot better, but actually functions properly, please let me know. Because seriously, that, because the only kind of uh, checking I did, I thought it was like Oblivion. So the thing with Oblivion and me is that I find it that if my console, so if I actually use the console in Oblivion, if I actually fill that up with a bunch of console commands, then my game is, I know for a fact that it is going to crash. That is why when that one Oblivion session that I just recorded not too long ago crashed, I didn't get angry. I didn't get angry. Right? No, I did get angry. Because, no, that one I didn't know why. Right? I'm trying to, trying to remember. I know one of them... No, when I redid it, I did it for console. That's right. Okay, I don't know why it crashed the first time. But the second time, if it would have crashed, I would have known why. Because I used the console heavily just to go through that same progress. For the most part. Yeah, because I don't think it did the progress correctly. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to go through it again. This time, I want to do uh, just armor only. Just... And we're going to go do the same exact thing. And maybe this time we'll find every set kind of thing. I think that would be a wonderful idea. Because I would actually 
absolutely love that, to be honest. Pretty tasty, yeah. I'm trying to get that last psychic trainer. Though. There we go. Alright. Now to figure out which of the tiles is Sabrina, because I accidentally went to Sabrina. But yeah, like, I've been trying to uh, figure it out on my own. I think I have Nehrim installed again, but I haven't had it done, do anything. I just had it sitting there, just waiting to be pretty, and just waiting to be... Because the one thing I want to do is, the first streamed video, I think it would be very nostalgic if we did Nehrim. I absolutely love Nehrim. Nehrim is one of my... It's actually one of the favorite uh, videos, or er, games on the channel so far, that I've absolutely loved. Because it's oblivion, but it's like better got a better story. Mind you, a lot of the characters are a little annoying, but then again, Oblivion had that too, so. Oblivion had more minor characters, I think, that were more annoying. I think. Nope, not this one. Is this one down, right? Is it? Yeah, it's that one, okay. Alright, Sabrina, uh, let's go. Uh, we should be fine. I mean, I think Pikesh is at her level. We might have a team wipe here. We might get one. Unclear. Alright, Sabrina, let's go. Time to take you down. You're supposedly the more tough, toughest uh, trainer ever. Oh, it wasn't lying. Oh, okay. I kind of thought I was lying about that. Why would you change your team to have an app on it? I will never understand. <laughs> I will never understand. Dabra. Okay, I think this one can actually attack, but we outspeed, and I know these guys don't really have good defenses anyway, so. Trust me, when we were playing Insurgents, we had Cyboy, a literal Kadabra, die by everything, and he's supposed to outspeed most things. So, so, people that are saying that Gen 1 is hard, how? It's not that difficult. It's just as easy as any other Pokemon game. Work on one Mon, make it as tough as power powerful, and you win. Don't do it in Nuzlocke, though, because Nuzlocke, you actually kind of need to have more Mons. Because when that one level 80 dies, and you're like, I only have a team of level 10s, you're screwed. Let's get to level 70, yay! That's awesome. I like how she says, oh, don't raise your Pokemon too much. Is that a threat? <laughs> Are you threatening me right now? Are you trying to tell me that I'm overtraining my Pokemon? You can't tell me what to do. you down here. Okay, yeah. This is this one, right? Nope. Is it literally just the one that's above? No. Nope. Okay. When I click right game, go right. <laughs> I literally held on right. And it's like, nope, you're going, you're going down or left or whatever. And it's like, no. <laughs> I know that's a dumb thing to do. Okay, so we got that badge. So we're just gonna go super fast for healing. 
We're gonna store a lot of items. We're gonna have repels. We're gonna go face all the swimmers. Oh, I don't want to deposit wands. I want to go and access this. I want to go deposit. The elixir, because I kind of want to keep this for later. Oh, I didn't grab Lapras yet. Oh, that's a dumb move on my part. I hope I can still get it. Oh, I forgot about it. I quite literally forgot about it. How did I forget about that? That's literally the HM mon we need right now. 